Back to follow-up segment tonight. As you may know, the factor has been the driving force behind the controversy at Boulder High School in Colorado. In April, four adults were allowed to address the students in an assembly about drugs and sex. All the panelists were far-left individuals, and they encouraged illegal drug use and indiscriminate sexual activity. Now, finally, school principal Bud Jenkins has apologized, finally, for this insane display. Joining us now from Denver with reaction, two Boulder High School students, Jesse Lang, a 16-year-old junior, and Andrew Wishner, a 15-year-old sophomore. Andrew, we'll begin with you. Uh, the apology yesterday, um, what do you think about it? What do your friends think about it? Well, I think it's well-deserved for us. I mean, we've waited long enough after all the times that they've said that it was inappropriate. Now it's a little late. I mean, I think he's only doing it so he can save his own skin. I mean, he doesn't want to tarnish the reputation of the school, so now he's just giving the people what they want. All right, well, the school's reputation is already tarnished. Now, is, is, is opinion divided, Andrew, in the school? Because I know that Jesse didn't see anything wrong with it, and we'll get to him in a moment, but is opinion divided, or, or which way is it going among the students? Well, among the students, they definitely favor the school. I mean, some of us speak out against it. We think it's wrong, but a majority of the school believes everything is all right and that that this assembly was just okay. All right, now why did you object to it, Andrew? What was it about it that you didn't like? Well, I thought it was totally inappropriate for high schoolers, let alone anybody, to listen to. And they just let people with no professional training, a playwright from Los Angeles, tell us his own personal sexual ex exploits that nobody wants to hear. All right. Now, Jesse, you see it differently, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I see it very differently, Bill. First, it was really educational. They had a lot of good real-world advice. They offered up countless consequences to practicing uh, unsafe sex, to taking drugs. And I really don't think that if you went to the conference and you heard the stuff, there was that much objectionable material. I don't know. I read all the transcripts, and uh, I thought it was inappropriate. I agree with Andrew. But what did you learn from it, Jesse? What would you Give me the big thing you learned from that conference. Go. Well, I think it was good to learn that adults can be very honest about these topics. They came out, they told us a lot of stuff about LSD, a lot of the negative stuff. Joel Becker said that a lot of his friends died from ecstasy or from LSD, if I can read a quote. He said, I lost a lot of friends. I had one friend who jumped out a third story window. He thought he could fly. That's just one example. Okay. They weren't the glamorizing man, drug use at all. The same man then said, if I had some ecstasy here, maybe I'd do it with you. Same guy. And ecstasy he, he didn't is, say is that at all. I actually have the quote right here. He never said anything about doing ecstasy with any of the students. He was responding to a question about governmental use of LSD and how the military created LSD. No, he said, he said, if I had some LSD, uh, if I had some ecstasy, maybe I'd do it with you. I don't know who with you He didn't you say was. with you. I have the exact right, read quote it. right here. Read it. Okay. One sec. I have to get to the page. He said, um, even today there are psychiatrists who will do sessions under the influence of ecstasy. If I had some, maybe I'd do it with somebody, but right, I go. don't, you know. You I go. haven't All tried right, it, but enough. there are people that's that enough. do it. There you go. It was and a that's joke, condoning. perhaps in poor taste, that's and he it. never said. That's condoning. There, it was a joke in poor taste, and I think it's joke. ironic that you would point out condoning drug use when, in your own book, The O'Reilly Factor for Kids, you liken a high school student, a model student, quote unquote, toking on Saturday nights to a brain surgeon enjoying a martini while not on call. Okay. It's, you took it totally out of context. Look, I know what you pinheads did. I, didn't, I, I can read the, the exact quote. Well, I can read kids. the whole paragraph sure, if you no, want. No, no, no. You don't have to read it's anything. It's on page 67. I never encouraged anybody to take drugs in O'Reilly Factor for Kids. If you read the book, you'd and know And they never that. encouraged us to take drugs And it's drugs a very anti-drug book. And this is totally dishonest, and don't get into doing this. My book is totally anti-drug. It's totally anti-drug. And this guy, Becker, was basically telling you guys, Pot's okay, ecstasy is okay, and you're smart enough to know that. Now, Andrew, when you spoke out against this assembly, anything happen to you? Were you scorned, mocked, anything like that? Uh, nothing like that. My one of my football coaches actually encouraged me. I mean, it's a good thing what I'm doing. I mean, there's kids like in the school that feel that this thing was totally inappropriate and are afraid to speak out because they're afraid they'll be persecuted. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you spoke out. We disagree with Jesse, but we respect the fact that he comes on and gives us his point of view. Jesse, you ought to read The O'Reilly Factor for Kids, though. It would be very good for you to do that. Gentlemen, I have thank you. It, Bill.